welcome to the official press conference for the historic multi-city TDC Interschool Championships 2024. My name is Patrice Harris and I am the Public Relations Officer for SKN Athletics. I will introduce the members of the head table and each member will provide remarks this afternoon. I'll start to my immediate left. We have uh, Mr. Karim Kati. Karim is the chair of security on the local organizing committee. Seated next to Mr. Kati, we have Mr. Garfield Virgo. Garfield is the game secretary for SKN Athletics. We also have the marketing manager for the TDC Group of Companies, Mr. Kashka Thompson. At my immediate left, we have Mr. Denville Francis Blake, head of the local organizing committee. Seated to my immediate right, we have Mr. Delwyn Delaney, president of SKN Athletics. Right next to him, we have the Minister of Sports et al. Creative Economy in the Federal Parliament of St. Kitts and Nevis, Honorable Samuel Duggins. And we have the Minister of Sports Nevis, Honorable Troy Liburd. Once again, good afternoon. We're gathered here today to speak to provide updates for the upcoming historic multi-city 2024 TDC Interschool Championships. As most, most persons have already been uh, notified, the games will be held two days in St. Kitts, starting this Thursday, 13th and 14th, Thursday and Friday in St. Kitts at the Kim Collins Athletic Stadium. The last two days where all of the track events will take place at the Nevis Athletic Stadium on the 16th and the 17th. This year, the meet is spans four days, two venues, and that's why we have dubbed it the Historic Multi-City Championships. We are ecstatic to be the team that is working on this product to ensure that it is successful all in the name of our athletes and as a governing body for track and field in St. Kitts and Nevis. I'm going to start this afternoon's press conference by allowing the chair of the LOC, Mr. Denville Francis Blake, to provide his remarks. Thank you very much, Patrice, and the chair for the press conference this evening. Let me also adopt the protocol that has so ably been established for welcoming everyone at the head table. And let us not also forget others a part of the local organizing committee present where we have Mr. Damon Backers, who is the General Secretary for St. Kitts Nevis Athletics. We also have Ms. Eunice Greenaway, Ms. Jeanne Thompson, Mr. Laquan Jalowi, Ms. Londa Brown, Ms. Nicola Fraser, Shamoya Liber, and Cherise Quilly. These are some of the members of the committee who have been working day and night to ensure the historical moment this year is to fruition and to make sure that every I's are dotted and every T's are crossed. And let's also not forget we have uh, the permanent secretary in the Ministry of uh, Education and Sports here in Nevis, the lovely Miss Zanella Claxton, mm -hmm. as well as the director of sports here in Nevis, uh, Mr. Jamia Claxton. And to everyone, we say welcome. The preparation for the championships this year has uh, made us work a lot over time because this is the first time, as we stated, it's going to be held in Nevis as well. And so a lot of things were put in place to ensure that this year will be, as we say, an historical moment. Mm -hmm. We met as well with the vendors today who are eagerly anxious for the championships. They were very feisty <laughs> about when it's going to start, how is this going to happen, when can I pay, and all this stuff. And so it was a very fruitful meeting. It was also advised that upon entering the competition and in the venue, spectators will enter, but if they go out, they basically would have to pay another entrance fee because we are about the vendors making money since they paid to be inside. And so if you want to go outside and vent to somebody outside, you can, but just note when you're entering, it will be another fee attached. 
And so the vendors here in Nevis loves it <laughs> because they said, we're gonna make money. <laughs> so it's really a good thing that we're doing. And so we're truly proud to, to be here and to be working with such amazing people, especially the Nevis Island administration as well, who have came on board and gave us a really good helping hand this year. We want to say thank you so much for that. We also want to say thank you for the platinum sponsor, the title sponsor, TDC, who has been here with us for over 40 plus years. And so we say thank you so much. <clears throat> and as we continue, I do hope that you guys come on out in your numbers, bring your friend, your friend's friend, your family's auntie and uncles and nephews, even your dogs, and let's have an amazing time. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, Mr. Blake. Thank you for providing those remarks. I'm happy that the enthusiasm is brewing amongst our vendors, and we hope that enthusiasm is going to spread to our patrons as well. Those who we expect to come over from St. Kitts as well in your numbers. We are expecting bumper crowds, and we look forward to persons really coming out and supporting this history historic meet. You don't want to be home and hear somebody say, oh, this is what happened. You have to be there to experience it. I take the opportunity as well to recognize one of our other sponsors being Coscab. They manage the Pori Dasania Coca-Cola brand. They have come on board as the official hydration partner for the meet. So thank you as well to TDC and to Coscab. I will now turn over to President Delaney who will speak to some of the largest logistics and other areas that we have been working on very diligently as a team. Thank you, Chair, and allow me to adopt the protocol so ably established before me. As it relates to logistics, yes, we know it was a challenge and still continues to be a challenge, but our team has been working tirelessly ensuring that we in ensure that the everything is down pack. And so as it relates to the logistics, we have, um, we have in place two chartered boats that be our, co our businesses, that being the Apple Cider as well as the Islander, and they will be the official transportation vessel boat transportation for our athletes. And we have to put, uh, we have placed a schedule in place. We have a schedule in place, sorry, that will ensure the athletes get to Nevis safely and on time in preparation for the meet, both on Saturday and Sunday. Now, as it relates to safety measures, um, traveling on the, on the seas, we are having a meeting tomorrow, tomorrow at 10, with the Department of Marine Resources, along with the Captain, Maritime, sorry, Maritime Resources, along with the captains of the Islander and Upper Cider, to make sure that we go through the different protocols, different um, adhering to the different protocols and safety measures as it relates to transporting the athletes to and from. Also, we have engaged the Coast Guard who will be on hand um, through the duration of the championships going back and forth. Even on the Thursday, uh, we are Thursday and Friday, we are Nevis athletes uh, um, heading over to St. Kitts to ensure that they are safe going back and forth, as well as the, the, the load on the Saturday and Sunday. As it relates to some medical measures that we have in place, apart from on-site, we have two doctors on hand that will be stationed in St. Kitts and one in Nevis. For the athletes that, um, that travels over to Nevis uh, in the morning, and to ensure that the athletes are in good stead, making sure that no sick, um, sickness have occurred, and if that's the case, that they can have medical attention right there and then. And similarly, for when they return to St. Kitts later on in the evening, we have a team there in St. Kitts to attend to those needs if arise. Also, we have our hydration stations that will be placed at the different ports, apart from at the, the, the venue, to ensure that the, the athletes stay hydrated, um, stay well prepared for the championship. So as it relates to the logistics, we are, again, we have been working day in and day out, ensuring that we have the, the, the protocols and all in place to assign. This is not our first time 
traveling to Sink, um, to Nevis for, for any track meet. As a matter of fact, we have been doing this since the turn of the year 2024. And we have highlighted and, and, and noticed the, the different areas of challenge, and we have addressed those. And so come Saturday, Sunday, even Thursday and Friday, um, we ensure that everything will go smoothly. And if there's any snags, that we jump on them as soon as possible. So that's my update. Or as well as, sorry, as well as the seating. There is some, just to clarify as it relates to the seating. So the preferred seating is the seating that is adjacent to the finish line. Adjacent to the finish line. All grounds seating is actually the seating that is to the left of the preferred seating and the actual grounds. So the standing room. So that when we speak of grounds, we're not just speaking about the areas where persons or spectators will be standing, but also the seating to the left of the preferred st um, stand, that is also considered ground. So persons, I know persons who are a bit um, confused, so to speak, on, the, on, the, on that, and so I hope that brought some clarity. Thank you. Thank you, President Delaney. I just realized I didn't mention about ticket sales. Tickets are already available for purchase. They have been available for purchase online for about a week now. We have utilized this year the JAD platform so persons are able to go online and purchase the, their tickets for Saturday and Sunday in Nevis. And you can also pay for the parking. That's an add-on that you can get as you move through the steps. So it's not on, it's not on the initial page for booking the tickets. Physical tickets are also available. They have been available at City Drugs to Nevis from Saturday, last Saturday, and they have been available from Cable, the Cable in St. Kitts, from this morning. I know a lot of persons have been very interested in purchasing tickets. Please don't wait until it's too late to get them because they sell out typically very quickly. And so if you're not in a position to acquire one of our physical tickets, I will encourage you, implore upon you to log on to our Facebook page where there is a link where you can purchase one of our JAD tickets. I think this is the first time that we have been, we are going to be selling tickets online and we're looking to see how that will pan out because it really eliminates a lot of stress for both the patron and us as an organization. So jump on board and get your tickets. All right, I'm now going to move on to our, the representative for the TDC Group of Companies, the Marketing Manager, Mr. Kashka Thompson. Thank you very much, Patrice. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, athletes, coaches, and supporters, good afternoon. It is an absolute honor and privilege to sit before you today representing the TDC Group the title sponsor for the highly anticipated 2024 Inter-School Championships hosted by the St. Kitts and Nevis Athletics Association. As a company deeply rooted in the community, we are proud to support an event that not only celebrates athletic excellence, but also promotes unity, sportsmanship, and the holistic development of the youth. These championships hold a special place in the hearts of many, as they serve as a platform for young athletes to showcase their talent, determination, and unwavering spirit. From the track to the field and every event in between, we will witness remarkable displays of athleticism and sportsmanship that will inspire us all. To the athletes, I say, seize this moment to shine brightly to push your boundaries and to demonstrate the true essence of sportsmanship. Your hard work, dedication, and passion have brought you to this stage and we applaud you for your commitment to excellence. Remember, regardless of the outcome, you are all champions in our eyes. To the coaches, teachers, and mentors, we extend our deepest gratitude for your tireless efforts in guiding and shaping the next generation of athletes. Your dedication goes beyond the track and field. You are molding future leaders, instilling values of discipline, 
teamwork and perseverance that will serve these young athletes well beyond their athletic careers. I would like to also commend the St. Kit Kitts and Nevis Athletics Association for their unwavering commitment to promoting sports and fostering talent in the nation. Their dedication to providing opportunities for the youth to excel in athletics is truly commendable and we are proud to stand alongside them in supporting this noble cause. As a title sponsor, TDC Group is fully committed to the success of these championships and the continued growth of athletics in St. Kitts and Nevis. Through initiatives like these, we aim to empower our youth foster a culture of excellence and inspire a new generation of leaders, both on and off the field. In closing, I wish all participants the very best of luck. And may these championships be a testament to the power of sports to unite, inspire, and transform lives. Let us come together as a community to celebrate the talent, dedication, and passion on display and create memories that will last a lifetime. Thank you and let the games begin. <laughs> Track side. Track side. <laughs> Track is back. We want to thank the representative from TDC for his remarks today and also to say a really heartfelt thank you to TDC. TDC has been on board for so many years, I'm sure more years than my age. Right? <laughs> yeah, no, I wasn't born then. <laughs> yes, the CDC has been on board for a very long time and they continue to pledge their assistance to us year in and year out. Sometimes they're the ones initiating the conversations. Let's meet. What can we do different this year? And we really appreciate that support from a corporate partner, not only for TDC into school, but whenever we do reach out to them from time to time for assistance. So thank you to TDC for your corporate social responsibility. Yeah. I'm now going to allow the game secretary, Mr. Garfield Virgo, to speak a bit to the outline of the days speaking to the schedule, the start, and the anticipation for a smooth and effective, the smooth and effective four days of competition. Thank you, Chair. Protocols adopted. Um, good afternoon, everyone. In um, planning for this meet, um, the Games Committee had the task of planning not only for the four days, uh, but uh, two venues. It wasn't an easy task, but um, we persevered. Um, the first two days, as Patrice would have mentioned, we'll be doing some work at um, King Collins. Those days begins at, uh, begin at 10.30, um, so we expect the teams to be there by the latest 9.30, so that we can get them in their warm-up activities and prepared mentally and physical in some instances for the, for the events to take place. Um, that day should proceed all the way up to about 4, 4 p.m. Um, both days should finish by about 4.30 the latest, God willing. Um, after that, we will then journey to Nevis, to the Nevis Athletic Stadium, on the Saturday and the Sunday. Um, the first day, Saturday, should begin at 10.30 as well. So the team should be on site by 9.30 the latest again and we'll proceed into the day. That day will push until about seven, thereabouts, and then we'll break for the final day, which begins at 12, and proceed from there. All right. Um, in planning the schedule, um, we reintroduced um, the multi-events last year. Uh, we decided to do it on a phase basis. So during last year's events, you'd have seen the reintroduction of the pentathlon at the under 14 level. Um, this year now we're stepping up a bit, and so we've gone to the heptathlon at the under 16 level. So this year you'll have two multi-events, categories under 14 pentathlon and the under 16 the heptathlon. And then hopefully we'll continue to build uh, that particular event so we can build some more athletes for, for, the, for that area. I will stop here for now and um, 
<laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you, Virgo, for at least outlining to us what we're looking at in terms of start and end. And I know that both Virgo, Prince, all of the other persons who are working with the officials, we are working diligently to ensure that time is adhered to because unlike other years, we have to factor in the transportation, ground transportation and the transportation underwater to get to the venues. So timing and adhering to the schedule is very important for us this year. So there you had it. It starts at about 10.30 and 12 on the last day and we're looking to be finished after seven so very important that the public is made aware of that so that when you start thinking about your travel plans you can keep that in mind but if i were you i would just come over to nevis let's make it a big weekend lime and head back down early monday morning sounds like a plan right delwin yeah. all right <laughs> okay we, we we also have the cheer of security here from the loc security is also another important factor for us we are dealing with children, we're dealing with moving a lot of people, and that is very important that we ensure that they are secure. So I'm going to allow Mr. Karim Kati, our Chair of Security, to speak to some of the plans and protocols that we have put in place for the his multi historic multi-city championships. Present good afternoon all. For me, the adopt the protocol have been already established. For the first day at the end, that's Thursday, we have security in place at the stadium. Private security on board the Ross Kinsanian Police Force. I can't speak to their plans on the Ross Kinsanian Police Force. However, from the private security end, the venue will be properly secured two hours before each event on both days. Okay. When traveling to Nevis, Coast Guard we provide security along the sea with the vessel coming over. And on both piers, we have security there to search personnel of interest. So we are asking everyone, please, leave your weapons at home, come safe, enjoy yourself, have a good time. All right, thank you, Chair of Security. I assure you that uh, we are ensuring that safety is a number one priority. Safety and logistics and transportation, we have dedicated a lot of efforts into ensuring, and the organization of the meet on the day itself to ensuring that we get it right this year. It's the first time, it's historic, and we want it to go historically well. All right, I take this opportunity, we're now going to hear from the ministers at the head table. We're going to start with uh, Minister Liburd. He's going to give us that warm welcome to say come over to Nevis. And then I will just allow him when he's finished to pass the microphone to Minister Duggins, who's going to speak to the overall support from the federal government as well. Thank you very much, um, Madam Chair, and a pleasant good afternoon to all. And of course, I want to welcome, I think, Virgo is here all the time, but everybody else at the head table, I want to welcome you all over to Nevis and a special welcome um, to my brother, Honorable Samuel Duggins. Of course, we're here to talk about the much anticipated TDC Interschool um, Championships, high school championships. And after the bat, I want to say that um, we're very happy to be hosting the championships here on Nevis for the very first time. And of course, this has the full support of the Nevis Island administration. Um, Inter High is something that is a part of the fabric of the Federation. Um, I think it's um, important that I note that I would have participated in Inter High. Um, <laughs> several times as a as a youngster um it was at uh, bastia um high school back in the in the day so um we have graduated from that um we we moved to the kim collins um stadium on the synthetic surface so we of course have moved forward in the federation and of course this year um that surface had been in for quite some time and of course is in need of a, 
of a freshen up or some repairs. And so we are happy that we have a surface that is more recent here on Nevis and that we can actually host the event. So I think it's a big thing for us over here on Nevis and all things have been going um, very well. Of course, I think everybody is aware that we have the track and we have some facilities, but we haven't put in the big stadium yet, but we are ready for this um, meet. I think people in the Federation, we like to mingle together and come together. And the, the current situation at the Nevis Athletic Stadium will allow the people of St. Kitts and Nevis to really get an opportunity to walk around together and mingle together. So I want to encourage you know, all of the folks from St. Kitts, let's St. Kitts um, rise up a little bit this weekend when you know everybody leave to <laughs> to come over and we want Nevis to sink a little bit this weekend. On Monday they can both level up but <laughs> but let's let's have that little shift this weekend. You know it's all wonderful. We are one people um, from port to port, city to city. It's eleven miles and we like to now use the water taxi. A lot of us like to use the water taxi and that's just about two miles, so we are so close. I'm always happy to head on over to St. Kitts for Inter High. I, I, whenever I have the opportunity, I would normally go to Inter High. Um, things like the music festival, the carnival, church services, I'm always happy to be over on St. Kitts. I know my brother Samuel is always happy to be over here on Nevis, and I want that to translate to all of the people of the Federation. So I want to send out that invitation to everybody, wherever you are on St. Kitts, whatever school you're going to be rooting for, come on over. Um, we will have good vendors, we have good food, we will have you know, everything that you need. Transportation in the Federation is so easy now. We have so many different boats, boats going from town to town, boats going from you know, um, Reggae Beach to Uali Beach. We also have lots of transportation here on Nevis, buses to take you to and from the Athletic Stadium. And for those who don't know, the Athletic Stadium is very close to town. It's just about a 15-minute drive. And, and so, you know, um, everything is easy. So the, the NIA is happy, definitely happy to partner with the SKN Athletics. Um, I know the folks at SKN Athletics very well, and whenever they call on, call on me or call on uh, my ministry, we are always happy to assist. Um, this, of course, is all about um, sports and sporting excellence, and sport is good for us, it's good for the young people. It helps to develop not only the physical for the young people, but it helps to develop their minds also. This of course we know is an Olympic year and I'm hopeful that we're gonna find some gems, you know, maybe somebody to go out and represent the Federation. And if not this year, um, sometime in the future. And I know that um, Inter High is a big part of finding those gems. We can get some of our students go off to get scholarships and so on, and Inter High is a big part of that. So I definitely endorse Inter High. I want to say a big thanks to TDC, who has been the, the title sponsor for Inter High for some time. I want to say thanks to SKN um, Athletics, and of course also to the federal government, who I know also back in this 100%. And on that note, I will now hand over to my brother, Samuel. <laughs> yes, good afternoon uh, to all. Um, all protocols observed. I want to say how extremely delighted I am to be here this afternoon for a time such as this. They always speak about the transformative effect of sports. And here we are today witnessing that firsthand. We talk about the dedication and the ability of sports to help in overcoming challenges. We've heard about the many challenges in setting this 
on the right path. And today we are here triumphant in saying that we are certainly moving in the right direction. We also hear a lot about the unifying power of sports. And here we are for the first time ever in the Federation of Sengis and Nevis, where we have two national facilities utilizing both national facilities for the greater good of everyone. And so when we look at the power of sports, we cannot deny that it has the ability to move countries forward and move people upward. We recognize our talents and we see this year, I am told, we have a splendid team that should be heading off to the Carifta Games in a matter of a week or two. And I'm also looking forward to that. But before we get to Carifta, we have our own meet here that we have to execute and celebrate. We are our athletes will compete against each other, but also showcase to the world and to us here in the Federation, their Perez and what they have in store in representation of our country. Now, a part of my delight also is looking at the support that this meet has received. I want to thank personally the organizing team, which is the SK and AAA, for the hard work and commitment they've put into ensuring that year after year, this meet is of the highest standard. And I am sure that this year, yes, they need a round of applause. I'm sure that this year, they expected to exceed expectations. Mm -hmm. Indeed. I know in our meetings, the hash phrase, the catch phrase, has been over deliver. And so I'm looking for that in this meet. I also want to thank the Tennessee Group of Companies for what, near 40 years of committed support and sponsorship. Over 40, over 40 years of committed support and sponsorship. That is a long standing commitment and they deserve some support as well. Of course, I have to thank the other sponsors that I see here, um, the Dasani and the other beverages provided by Costco. And they are providing the hydration for our athletes that are so well needed. And again, I wish to give them some commendation. But I also can't complete this without giving thanks to the Nevis Island Administration. Because here it is, we, are, we have a federal government, yes. And oftentimes we hear a lot of discord in the air about the differences between St. Kitts and Nevis. In this moment, we are now hearing about the unification of St. Kitts and Nevis. And that is important for our people to recognize that we are two islands, but one absolutely beautiful paradise. And our people have a delight in working together. And myself as a Federal Minister of Sports, I always have a wonderful time whenever I interact and meet with my colleague and brother on the Nevis Island Administration to execute on anything. And I remember when this discussion came up, he was the first one that came and said, Minister, we are ready. If you need us, we are ready. And we had a few meetings, and here we are, ready to go forward. And so here I am, delighted as ever, and wishing the championship every success, but also wishing our nation a wonderful weekend this weekend. I'll be there myself, as usual, enjoying and looking at the meet. But most of all, I'm quite sure that we will all be there because this meet is set to be probably one of the bigger ones we've seen in the Federation in all times. So again, thank you all for being here, everyone in attendance. Thank you all for listening and tuning in, everyone in Radio Land, TV Land, and social media. And I want to say again, here it is, the transformative effect of sports, full display. And congratulations to all of you for your hard work and dedication. And we look forward to a wonderful meet. Thank you. Thank you to both Honorable Liebert and Honorable Duggins for 
just given extending that support and encouragement to persons who are listening to come out and attend the meet. I know people might be thinking, ah, oh, I don't want to take that journey over. Ah, oh, it's too much. Listen, I don't think you want to be in a position where you have to hear somebody telling you about it. The facilities here at Nevis, they are top tier, and you don't have to worry about whatever you're worrying about. It doesn't exist. Come out, have a good time, mingle, enjoy. The vendors are feisty because they have a lot of things that they want to sell. <laughs> I think it's a vendor competition happening too. Mm -hmm. You and we, we, we haven't even spoken about that school rivalry mm -hmm. that is taking place. Shirts I'm seeing on WhatsApp, Del Wayne. I don't know if we have shirts left in St. Kitts, you know. Shirts for sale, especially because we have had so many athletes who have qualified so far. We have had a very good season so far in terms of the different meets and sports days that have been taking place. And people look forward to inter-school, that, that bragging right from being able to participate in inter-school and coming first or doing better than now or so-and-so athlete and cooping. Listen, the principals go to other sports days and they're cooping to see my athlete could bang this one. <laughs> it, it's, it is exciting, exciting. So why would you want to not come over? One of the things that the president didn't mention is that this year we have actually decreased the cost of the tickets. That is to encourage our patrons to actually come to the meets. Typically, you will spend about $50 or even 60 sometimes to, to mm -hmm. be a part to have preferred seating. This year, preferred seating on Saturday is $30. That's 50% discount. And uh, the grounds is $15 for adults and 10 for children. So 30 for adults for preferred seating, 30 for anyone who wants to acquire a preferred seat. 15 and 10 on the grounds on, and on Sunday, $40 for preferred seating, 20 on the grounds for adults and 15 for children on the grounds. We have also added the option of inside parking and just an additional $15 for the inside parking will get you in. Now, when I came over, I said, oh, I can just come in my vehicle, park up and look at the meat. That's also an option that you have. So again, we're encouraging you to come out and support. Tickets are available at the City Drugstore in Nevis, as well as the cable in St. Kitts. All right, I have some questions from the media. And uh, President Delaney, that's what's being the president, is why you're in the hot seat. How is the anticipation building for this event, considering that it is being held in Nevis? How is the anticipation building? What provisions are being made for St. Kitts athletes to camp in Nevis, as opposed to traveling back and forth? And uh, will Eskian Athletics consider hosting future inter-school events on Nevis? All right, President Delaney, I'll leave the phone here so you can check. All right, thank you. So the first question is how is how, how is anticipation building and and seeing that the meet is in Nevis. I don't think the location um, matters. If we were having it hosting it in Antigua, <laughs> Montserrat, Stacia, Sabre, persons were the, the anticipation, the hype, the energy would have still been there. It is the TDC Interschool. It is nothing. Nothing comes close to TDC Interschool, nothing, nothing. I know we I see some football fans in here, but nothing comes close to a weekend of track and field that the TDC Interschool brings, right? And, and, and whereas a football game lasts for 90 minutes, and there's lulls in football, I know it. There are periods in the game where it seems as though nothing is happening. With track and field, you have to be on the edge of your seat are uh, for seven hours straight, seven hours of non-stop action, preparing say, who's gonna hap what's gonna happen next. Okay, this school win this race, let me see if my school now could come back and win this, this other race. And so you, you're on edge all, huh? yeah, old medal counts. The, I mean, even before the meet, they're already ticking off, okay, well, I got a goal in this. Person's been monitoring, coaches have been monitoring, 
spectators have been monitoring, principals have been monitoring the results of these athletes because they have been competing year in and year out. Um, Nivisions, don't fool yourself that and think that the, the, the meet this weekend was just viewed by, by Nivisions. <laughs> Not at all. Saying it's athletes, saying it's coaches have been watching and they've been eyeing and saying, strategizing, seeing where we can pick up medals, what is happening here. We see all the medals, they've been seeing all the medal, the, the records that being being broken and that sort of thing. So the anticipation and the excitement for the championship is there and it, it, it will be forever there for the TDC Interschool. Interschool, nothing brings, um, as the minister said, nothing brings people together like sports and nothing brings excitement like track and field. So that goes without saying. Um, being in Nevis is just something now personally say, let's see what will happen. But as it relates to the track and field, I mean, as, as the, um, the PRO said, the, 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 the track is, is top tier. Mm -hmm. The track is top tier. I mean, nine is one of the few uh, nine lanes track we have in, in the Caribbean. I, I don't think Jamaica has a nine lane. A lot of countries don't have a nine lane track. And it's a Mondo track. It, it, it holds well. I mean, we have seen the performances week in and week out where the records are being broken and so on. So the facility is top tier in putting the athletes first. We had no choice but to bring it here to Nevis to ensure that the, the athletes succeed. So as it relates to oh, the link, the link for the results. Oh, link for live, live results. Of course, um, the, the technical staff, the technical team will provide the link for results. Um, throughout the stadium, we'll have QR codes where persons can scan, so you don't have to worry about um, asking the results. Um, it's uploaded almost in real time, so as soon as the, the event is finished, uh, once the technical team, TIC, pulls the results, it's uploaded and boom. Um, the results are there, right? Um, as it relates to athletes camping in Nevis, they were up, that was an option for presented to the schools. But they, they have indicated that because their, their camps are usually so um, family-oriented, where they rely on parents, uh, well-wishers, teachers, etc., surrounding their camp, it will be better for them to camp in St. Kitts, where they can get that support on the ground and, and travel to, to Nevis. I mean, it's just a seven minutes or less um, commute over to Nevis. Um, the water would be smooth. Um, I've checked, <laughs> I've checked the, the, the weather forecast. <laughs> I've checked the weather forecast. Coming over today, I don't even know where we are at the channel or the port because, I mean, everything was smooth. And, and we expect the same. Um, um, for this weekend. Um, oh, and um, Charles e. Mills um, Secondary School is actually camping over here in Sink in Nevis, sorry, and so provisions have been made for for that um, to happen for them. Um, as it relates to interschool being hosted in Nevis again, uh, perhaps the minister, minister, will, will, will it be hosted in Nevis again? Again, sure. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, definitely. We're happy to be a part of the whole inter-school makeup. Um, we know it's easier for two schools to come over to sink it. I mean, it's, logistically, that is a lot easier. But um, certainly, we have a we have a top-notch facility that's only going to get um, better as we continue to build out the infrastructure. So certainly um, we can have a partnership where, you know, we go back and forth from one island to the next. Of course, it's a good experience for the um, children, um, a lot of whom have never, you know, traveled into Ireland. So it's a, it's a good experience for them also. So we would be happy certainly to be a part of that. All right, there you have it. Thank you, Minister. Thank you, President Delaney. We also have some questions on the on social media about a live, and I don't even understand why people are still asking about a live because Troy has promised us a big lime. Delwayne has promised us that the water will be good. Come over. 
you don't have to stay home and look at it. Vendors are waiting for you. There is a lot of mingling to take place. Come over. I am, I'm really imploring on you to come over and support our athletes. We're still navigating through that, but we really want to encourage persons to be there in person to witness the historical nature of this multi-city championships. All right, I don't, I don't see any more questions. We can hold on for a minute or two. I don't see any more questions, but I uh, want to encourage persons once more to get your physical tickets from the cable in St. Kitts. They are on Kayon Street. The City Drug Store in the heart of Childstown. Yes, to get your physical tickets. If you want to get them online, we're encouraging you to use the JAD platform. Again, you would have heard today from all of the persons at the head table. Mm -hmm. We have been working together collectively, constantly meeting with the minister, constantly meeting with the team here on Nevis. How many times Mr. Blake Prince is back and forth. It is very important to us to ensure that safety is uh, number one priority. Logistics are well sorted out. We're encouraging you to support because the Interschool Championships is our major fundraiser that we use to take our team to Carifta. Last year, we had stellar performances from our athletes and we are looking forward to many, many more performances that will surpass what took place last year. I won't tell you how many medals Delwyn has whispered in my ear that we will get because I know people from Antigua and BVI are listening. The, the scouts are all over. They're looking at the different <laughs> trials and looking at the live results, links. Competition is all over. Carifta will be held in Grenada this year. We will be having a separate press conference for that when we are going to unveil the team and the coaching staff. And uh, there might be an opportunity for some members of the public to be able to journey with us. So stay tuned for more updates on that. I'm going to pass the microphone back to President Delaney to give us some remarks and then we're going to wrap up the press conference for today. All right, just um, just a, on a point of order. The, as it relates to transportation for the spectators, so we haven't left out the spectators in terms of our negotiations. And so we have negotiated with the Apple Cider and the Islander that they can, round trip is $40. Round trip is $40. Uh, we have engaged the bus association here in Nevis. We are $10 from Wally to the Mondo Track, to the, to the Athletic Stadium in Nevis, and $5 from the Charleston Pier to the, the, the Nevis Athletic Stadium in, yeah, the Nevis Athletic Stadium. So, yes, and also there'll be security, security, armed security at Reggae Beach, for persons who are thinking about driving over, leaving their vehicle there, and, and heading over to, to Nevis. So security will be at the Reggae Beach um, port to ensure the safety of your vehicles. Right? So I just wanted to make that point. All right, I'm going to hand it back over to the chair of the LOC to provide his closing remarks as well. Okay, so I just want to say thank you once again to everybody, especially those at the head table. But there was somebody I really wanted to pinpoint because during this entire conversation and planning of the multi-championship, this individual has came on board 500% each time I call, I text, sometimes late at night at 11 o'clock and so forth. She's up, she answers, she's like, yes, let's do this. Mm -hmm. And I want to just shout her out today, and that is the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Education and Sports, Miss Zanella Claxton. She has been given a whole lot to it. She's excited about it. She was like, yes, come over, Prince. I'll bring it. We are ready. Nevis is ready to take the championship on their home soil. So I just wanted to highlight that because she has been given a lot to the association as well under the ministry that is so ably led by the Honorable Troy Liber, And also to Dominic at TDC, mm -hmm. who is on my case a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to thank them so much and especially this year was the first time also that we had I think it's like five 
members on the local organizing committee who is a part of the NIA, and especially to Miss Nicola Fraser. That is my hand right there, she is. <coughs> She's always there, she calls me and she's like, Prince, think about this, what do you think we could do with this? And we go full steam ahead. And so I want to thank them as well for being a part of the committee. And as we stated in our meeting, moving forward, we also want them to be a part of mm -hmm. the local organizing mm -hmm. committee, not just for this year. So we thank you guys so much for your support. All right, we do have another question that came in from the media. I don't know if they're being prophetic. They really want to know if what the hope is for rotating the, the championships back and forth between St. Kitts and Nebus. I think we alluded to it earlier, but I don't know if we can speak to definitively that's something that we would consider. So as it relates to the championship, I think it's early days still in terms of the rotation. Perhaps um, I'm, when we sit around the table with the sponsors and so on, we'll see how feasible it is uh, with the NIA and the federal government. Mm -hmm. um, do, it, do we do it biannually? Um, or, or every every other year or every two three years whatever the case is but definitely we know this weekend will be a success mm -hmm. and and so it holds well we know person who says see I tell you so so we never know but um, it's early days still but definitely not off the table in terms of the rotational all right thank you earlier this year the team from Eskin Athletics would have journeyed to the different high schools. They would have gone to the BHS, the home of the BHS Storm, the Stormers. <laughs> I think they have a goal. They had a goal rush last year. They might have yes. a gold mine this year. <laughs> they, they went over to the, the home of the Wildcats. Ooh. The home of the Wildcats. That's the Washington Archibald High School. I really still really don't know how they manage competition because they share everything, <laughs> BHS and Washi, and they're right next to each other. They journeyed over to, to Kayon High School. That's the CHS Falcon. Falcons, CHS Falcons, I think their sports there was yesterday as well. They went on down to the Sadler's Secondary School, the home of the SSS Wolves. SSS Wolves, and we know we've had a character medalist there as well as, as do we at Bass High School, the home of the BHS Storm. And then, we to sword to the Eagles, <laughs> Sam's Eagles. <laughs> so to Sam's Eagles, and then we went over to the VHS Hawks. VHS Hawks, they're, they're coming as well. I tell you, you can't underestimate any team this year. The team jumped on the boat. They came over. What, 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 what is the minister? The minister saying? What is the minister saying? <laughs> <laughs> they, <laughs> they came over to Nevis as well and they visited the CSS Lions. Mm -hmm. CSS Lions. Listen, the Lions are, are worrying because they won the what they won the jinxing up. Mm -hmm. But remember the Eagles weren't there. So so the competition. Don't, don't, don't forget the Panthers. The, the Gingerland Secondary School Panthers. Now, usually they have to get the boat over and so forth. They don't have any boat to get this year. Mm -hmm. So the two Navy schools are also in prime mode for competition, having their own into high school this weekend. So trust me, you don't want to miss it. And we also have the CFBC Bulls yes. participating this year. The CFBC Bulls participating and uh, ICCS as well. So trust me, this is a historic year for many reasons and we are looking forward to you coming out to support. You get your tickets, $30, $40, $30 on Saturday for preferred seating, $40 on Sunday for preferred seating, and $15 and $10 on Saturday and Sunday respectively for the grounds. Again, the tickets for the preferred seating, they're not labeled adult or child, they're just, it's just a seat that is sold, so it is one price. But the grounds, we have differentiated the cost for adult and child. Remember where the president said the preferred seating is. You don't want to get there, get yourself in the trouble. Security on the end has already been instructed how to deal with these situations. 
Go where you have paid for in the preferred seating area. There's an opportunity for you to get your tickets. You don't want to hear about it. You don't want to miss it. You don't want to see pictures. You have to be there, as the young people say, live and direct to be able to witness the action for the historic multi-city championships powered by the TDC group of companies. Trackside. I want to thank everyone at the head table for taking time out of your schedule. I also want to thank in advance the members from the... Oh, there's a question here. We're just wrapping up, but we, we want to answer questions. This press conference is important for us to provide clarity. Are spectators allowed to come on Thursday and Friday? Yes, spectators will be allowed to come and witness the activities that will be taking place at the Kim Collins Athletic Stadium on Thursday and Friday. When you get there, you will just be told on which areas you can occupy. So remember... And it is free. The admission is free. Remember, the field events are taking place there, the javelin, the short put, majority. There, is, there are some jumps that will be taking place in Nevis for the last two days. I want to thank everybody for taking time out of your schedule to be here on this, at this head table for the press conference today. All of the persons who are here with us physically and all of the persons who have joined just to get the updates with eager anticipation. The next time you'll be hearing from us, we'll be talking about the Rams Inter-Primary Championship slated for next weekend that will take place at the Sandy Point Recreation Ground. And we'll also be speaking about our delegation that we're sending off to Carifta 2024 in Grenada. So thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye.